Hey folks, how's it going? After the usual break post Guild War, it's time to get back on the saddle and prepare for the next one, which is always strangely too close. I still have nightmares from last year's Earth Guild War since I had to manual most of the time. Having to run Thor on the Nightmare 250% was not a great experience. This time around I do have a couple of new toys to play with, but I'm also fairly afraid the 150 Gold Moon weapons will turn this into a Dark Guild War 2.0. I still want to aim for top PTK though, so I might need to get ready for another 2.2 billion total minimum. When it comes to the OTK, Sega Games announced they might bump its HP up to 23 millions, but there's been no confirmation yet and the current mannequins still sit on 22. Before prepping for the OTK though, I think I need some grid fixes, cause for the grid there's a lot of work to be done. A single Galleon staff isn't going to be enough to let me look into a Titan upgrade, and even when it comes to Magna, I could use a few better AX skills. My Sig Dagger is still only 2 star, and I think I'm at 1 2 of these. Maybe more if I want to consider a Kame 5 star upgrade as well. Running him on the front line with 2 defense daggers might be a thing for harder content. This also means having to finally bring the bindings of the hangman up to 5 star, for which all I'm missing are a couple of sand drops. I haven't actually started farming these, but fingers crossed the Raven's raids are going to be generous enough. I think I might need to run a few more enneads as well since I've been getting low on anima. Hopefully we'll get a magnafest soon. Next in line would be the Ultima ULBs. I've been running a few Super Ultimate Bahamuts, but I think I won't wait for a Magnafest to do the UBN trains required for the lower level upgrades. Sword and Axe should be the next in line. On the character side, I'm currently sitting on two Lapis Merits, with Octo, Song and Tien at level 140 and Sarasa at 110. Getting Octo to 150 this month is a no-brainer move. But I'm a bit undecided between Song and Sarasa. Song's upgrade would be purely for waifu reasons. I still think she would be a fun swap in with Makora, but I have no real plans about her usage. Sarasa, on the other hand, would need to dine on a gold bar plus plenty more mats to unlock her triple strike on ground zero, which would be pretty cool on a killing burst, but again, Christmas Darmea and Sidala also offer a decent alternative. The gold bar I could use to buy my last Dark Opus weapon. This way, I wouldn't need to swap skills that offer anymore. Kame 5 star has also been coming along quite nicely. Then Hangman Veritas, some more insular cores and two sands, and I'll be done with it. The fourth skill might take a bit since it will need 100 world ideas, but hopefully I'll manage to do that in time for the guild war. Then it will likely be up to Nier. Her dagger is at 2 stars and she has 3 out of 4 domains, which doesn't leave that many mats to farm, with lusters and sands being the only real problem. The next characters waiting for the 5 star uncap are Fro and Lobelia, followed by Geisen and Aselia. I think I might want to start prepping for Fro since Aselia can use the mats I didn't spend on Maria Theresa, but we'll see after the guild war. When it comes to rolling instead, I'm almost halfway there from the next spark. The Guild War, a new Magnafest, the Summer Stream freebies and the free rolls should let me get there fairly safely. The target this time around should be some real sub, but with their latest announcement regarding releasing fewer Summer Limiteds, but removing the end of Summer banner that has all of them on up and sparkable, I don't know anymore. I do think cutting down on the volume of Limiteds is a good idea. We've had 10 releases last year, plus 4 in March, and it's basically impossible to keep up with them. Not to mention, a lot of them end up being mediocre units who basically function as glorified skins. The removal of the End of Summer banner, on the other hand, hurts quite a lot. It's been a bit of a staple for me all these years, as it was the perfect opportunity to pick up my favorite summer character and move on to the autumn season with no regrets. Unless they announce the summer cast beforehand, if you don't want to money spark multiple times, there will be sacrifices to be made. If Ilsa gets her rerun too soon, I might miss out on her completely and be forced to wait for the Anitix next March. 
Then the problem with the new Halloween and Christmas units also arises, especially if the Halloween ones are on the same tier as Florence and Lich. But that's another bridge to cross later. The second worrying factor is Summer Sidala. The tigers have been shown in their swimsuit attire already and they're just too cute to pass on. Other than them, I still expect at least 4 more releases, and the idea of being able to spark only with 2 summer characters on rate up at most really doesn't sit well with me. I hope they're going to walk back on it, either that or become way more generous with the free draws and go above the free daily 10 part. As for when to spark, it's another hard call. My only missing flash grants at this point are Wamdus and Golden Knight, and even if the flash weapon dupes list is a little bit longer, I would still go for new characters first, so I would prefer to spark on a Lagfest banner to have a chance at Percival or Wilna's. The dream banner would be an August 1st Lagfest with Sidala releasing and Yukata Itza on rate up, but the chances of that actually happening might be a bit on the low side. Another big question mark would be the looming Grand Siegfried. After his Raven's Raid, he got an entry in Versus and he's about to get his event added in the side stories. Earth also hasn't gotten a new Grand in a year and with the guild we're approaching, what better time would there be to drop one? Weapons wise, Earth has been the first element to get the Temperance skill with the skill cap and supplemental, as well as the one to open the way with the attack, defense and cap up series with Wamdus, Percival and Charlotta following suit one after the other. With Mikhail being the first character of the main wheel elements to get a packed weapon, I was halfway expecting them to be linked to the Archangels. Here we are, kind of stole Raphael's window, so instead of Uriel, I'm pretty sure we'll see a Grand Siegfried being released next week or early next month with the Earth packed weapon. Right before summer too, as to drain as many crystals as possible from us. Looks like Dirt 2 will move to the triple resonance, double temperance, double packed weapon as well, and that can only spell further doom when it comes to the Guild War honors bloating up. Alright then, that's going to be it for me for the moment. Looks like this month will be focused on Siegfried Ravens with a bit of a detour towards Repigard Sandbox and Sub B. As always, Thanks a lot for watching, let me know how your preparations are going and if you do, dread the lack of an end of summer banner. See you around soon. Ciao!